G'day fellas and welcome back to the Assassin Dynasty on the channel. This is the beginning of season two and I'm pretty sure if I'm not Mustak and Machan, we are in the CUSA. I, you know what? It doesn't even matter. We're not versing in this episode anyway. We are C, C minus and C, which is very, very nice. Today we have Colorado State and Boise State. Then in the next episode in week three, we're going to do low lock cheese, everything like that. Don't worry about recruiting in this episode. As I said, I'm going after a couple of guys that are interested. Interested. They're not very good, probably like mid 60s. As for notable players on debut, we have Trey Harrison at quarterback. He is a junior, but he is a Juco. At running back, true freshman Joe Simmons, 75 overall. At wide receiver, another Juco by the name of Sean Carr. We also have true freshman Marcus Anderson. True freshman Kevin Jones at tight end. True freshman Jesse Garcia ready to dominate in the 5-2. And on the DT, Justin James also ready to dominate in the 5-2. Jeremy Webster who is a Juco. And Jason Brooks the true freshman. At strong safety we also have David Mayfield. There's, there's a lot of people debuting today man. And here's something to be excited for. Jamie Jones the cornerback will be kick and punt return for this season as well. So that being said, fellas, if you are new around here and you enjoy Madden and NCAA content, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to sub. All of my socials are down in the didgeridoo. And if you'd like to pick yourself up some G Fuel discount code CROW at checkout, my referral link is the top one in the description. Let's start season two. All right, let's start off where we left in the 5-2 defense. Colorado State is a team you cannot underestimate though at all. Yep, he's going to have to throw it away. Oh, and we have a third and five. I don't really want to be in 5-2 for this. Crap. Oh, what? Alright, bro. Yeah, we're literally stuck in this 5-2. Like... There we go. Are we going to see a screen? Nope. Nowhere to go. This is in a 3-4 defense as well. They still got sat. So this is what's up. We have two freshmen. Well, two, you know, people on debut in the backfield. Simmons gonna get hit. There we go right there. Simmons. Duke move got him. Cut it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, his first play, he gets tackled for a TFL. The next play, he goes for 95 yards on a reception, boys. That was our quarterback's first ever pass in Oak Cliff, and it was a touchdown. Oh my goodness. We're literally sending three people. What is this? It's just vertical play. Lucky we have four deep anyway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Brooks Hodges, the left end, just broke the school record. I decided as well, next episode, we are going to add sliders as well. Yeah, yeah. We'll add sliders. Trey Harrison. Oh, everybody's locked up. Dang, that's a waste of a drive. Lucky we have the best punter in the world, though. By my calculations, this should be a pretty perfect punt. Yeah. All the way back on the 16. Easy work. That's mine. Let's go, baby. Use a pick with Presley. As if they wouldn't just give that benefit of the doubt touchdown. You know what I mean? Let's go. Ah, they're in. Dang, I was looking to get out of this game early as well. I don't think that's going to be the case, fellas. All right, let's see what Jamie Jones can do. Let's see what the Duke move is like. Okay, it's not bad. Ooh, he's got a nice little step back on him as well. Have you also noticed, because this guy's name is Joe Simmons, right? Every player that I've ever had in a dynasty with the name Joe has been an absolute beast. Oh, as I throw a pick. Sick. I was talking so much that I wasn't looking at what I was actually doing. They're in. Oh my goodness. This guy reminds me a lot of Stefan Jackson the way he runs too. Oh, let's go. There's no way. Get that block. Number 42 got two blocks. 
back to back. We didn't even have to step, juke, nothing. Spin, we just ran straight in the end zone, literally. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused. What was that about? Go circle. Got him. That's Carl. Juco Jr. to Juco Jr. Touchdown. Oh, crap. What a catch by Ray Tyson. Now that yardage is starting to look a bit more respectable. Just a little bit. Yeah. Gonna take circle again. Let's go. That's the uh, that's the other freshman, Marcus Anderson. There we go. I like that. The tight end hasn't really been involved like the entire game, but he got himself a touchdown. Whoops. Well, I'm definitely in the wrong defense. Uh, I came out in punt defense, <laughs> and we got like a TFL off that. Screenplay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna carve this guy out. You see that? <laughs> it looked like they had a spy up, but there's no way I was gonna let him tackle us. Single coverage. Oh, he struggled to get off the press, but he's gone. Oh, what a catch! Ah, Square got wide open. So did X. I can't believe this quarterback can even make that throw. And look at this lead as well. We have not called a single out route, like, at all. Not one player's had an out route. That was a face mask, by the way. And now he's injured. Oh, my God. You're joking, right? I was clicking to throw it away, and he just didn't throw it away. That's a pick. Ah, oh, the true freshman strong safety couldn't make a play. I think this team that we have right here could probably compete very easily in the American Conference. But, you know, we still have to get the CUSA out of the way and everything like that, you know? But, Trey Harrison in the end zone. I didn't even know who's got all the touchdowns, but we got a lot of points, boys. Let's get out of here. We scored again, twice. So checking out the stats, Trey Harrison had 264 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Jamie Butler came in and threw three passes and two touchdowns off those three passes. On the receiving end, nothing too crazy. Joe Simmons couldn't really get going, but he did have a touchdown. And at 6'2", 230 as a speed back, that's really cool. He had 89 receiving yards. Four other receivers also had a touchdown. And on the defensive end, Brooks Hodges had six tackles and all six of them were sacks. So he probably was close to an NCAA record in this game. We had nine sacks. I know that's like super unrealistic, but you gotta understand the teams that call hurry up trap us in a 5-2. Okay, so the game plan is we're gonna put one into the opener because I need those points for the early part of recruiting because that low lock cheese. I want as many points as possible, man. I'm going hard. You know what I'm talking about, bro. But if you do enjoy the series, do not forget to leave a like. It literally takes one second and it helps out the channel so, so much. I would be super grateful, fellas. That being said, let's, uh, let's probably go get dominated. If there was one place I wanted Daniel Monroe to go, other than Missouri, it was probably Boise. Okay, on the very first play, two tackles broken. Pick! Damn, he just trucked us and ran straight in the end zone. <laughs> no issues whatsoever. Well, let's go. Let's go, Joe Simmons! And he broke the tackle. Okay, so this is kind of cheesy, but this is a big out route on the right. We're going to get it too. <laughs> they gave it to our boy, Carr. All right, man, let's see what happens. Okay, he's playing the flat. Got him on the court. Ah, he didn't need to do that though. You know what I mean? But, yeah, you see what I'm talking about? 
If you guys remember that quarterback that we had on the banana slugs, now I've forgotten his name. The guy after Joe McIntyre. That is who Trey Harrison reminds me of. Screenplay. Oh, I, oh, that annoys me so much. Very good tackle though, still. 3-2-6 defense. Good luck trying to get past this. Yep, nobody's open. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, this is what it's all about. Big third and eight. Burnett is going to be on the quarterback just in case, because you never know. Yep, out of bounds. And they're going to take a field goal here. The quarterback that I was talking about that reminds me of Trey Harrison was JT Hall from the Banana Slugs. If you put JT down in the comment section, genuinely, I'll love your comment. There, see, that's what I'm talking about. That is JT Hall all over right there. Uh, wait, I tripped over nothing. So even though, yeah, we've been carving up teams like Colorado State and stuff. Boise State is one of those teams that's like upper tier. They're like in the 90 overalls and stuff like that. These guys are really good. You know what I mean? Like they're really, really good. And we are struggling immensely. Oh, let's go. Wow, we got so lucky on that play. That's my favorite play in the game, by the way. Drag under, best play. Gonna chew the clock out because we're pretty much right in front. Don't want Boise to really get a chance to come back here. I hope we don't score here. Come on, Joe Simmons gonna rush it in. Good on him. So expect a much slower tempo here in the second half, like a lot of runs. I'm just gonna try and guarantee some, some yardage, basically. You like that? That's fine. Oh my goodness. Look at the gaps we're getting. Alright, we can hit him with the drag under. I actually caught it on the right side this time. Oh, I might even just go Sean Carr on the right. Look at that. If he beats his man. Nah. Uh-oh. I won! Can you get open? <laughs> Ray Tyson in the slot. That's the second time he's been open on the drag under play. I'm telling you, it is the most underrated play in the game. Mead's checked in as well. Good to see Mead out here. Trey Harrison straight in the end zone. I'm all over that out route. Uh oh. Let's go! That's the freshman, Webster. Oh my goodness, cut it in, cut it out. Oh, dude, his agility is so garbage. If he had like 85 agility, that would have been a touchdown. Bro, you could say it's unrealistic that like we're up on Boise, but you can't take away Jeremy Webster's pin. Dang. Oh man, it is the funnest thing ever in NCAA 14. Trucking people with your quarterback. How don't we have a, a kicker that can kick it from this far? In year two. I could have sworn that I s recruited a kicker, right? Right? There we go. That time we get it. Can we just change this up to a run? There we go. They left the middle like wide open, man. 28 to 10 lead. There we go. Good sack. First time I've been in 5-2 for a very long time in this game. Pays off immediately. Yep. I'm just like bumping him as he runs. Oh, fumble. Brooks Hodges is gonna jump on it. Oh, Boise just crumbled when it mattered the most. But they're not even gonna call timeouts. They know. All right, so who's the play here? I think we gotta go uh, Car. Car on the left. Oh, he's getting jammed. Uh oh. Let's take X. No! Oh, he dropped it anyway. I was trying to make a play for the end zone. Trying to be sneaky because we're a dirty team. Well, just like that, we knocked off Boise, but that'll be the last game that we play without sliders. Like, we are going to make it uh, more relatively difficult.
So checking out the stats, Trey Harrison, 200 yards and a 70% completion rate. On the rushing end, he had 38 and two touchdowns. Splitting that with Joe Simmons, who, you know, they scored all of our points today between them both. On the receiving end, Ray Tyson, because of those two drag underplays, had 104 yards. And defensively, we had two sacks on the day. One big pick by Jeremy Webster, the Juco Jr. We also had the TFLs as well. It was just an all-around really solid game. As you know, Boise's like a 90, and with two sacks and a pick, we basically held them under 10 points. But with that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Stay safe. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. From me personally, I'm out. Peace. So athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet, touch heaven. I've been